Welcome to this Michigan English Test practice video by Exam Sam Study Aids and Media. In this video, we're going to look at MET Test Speaking Practice exam questions. Now let's look at the instructions for the MET Michigan English Test Speaking Practice exam. In this video, you will first see five conditional sentence exercises to help prepare you for the MET speaking exam. The answers are provided after each question. Then you will see five speaking exam prompts. There are tips and sample responses for you to study after each speaking test question. Get Exam Sam's Michigan English Test Listening and Speaking Study Guide. With this great book, you will improve your speaking test score by learning how to use conditional sentences in your responses. You'll also learn which verb tenses and phrases to use on each test of the speaking test. Discover what examiners are really looking for in your interview. Our study guide teaches you how. Please see the links in the description below the video. The samples in this video are from Exam Sam's Michigan English Test Listening and Speaking Study Guide. The book is available on Amazon or as a PDF download. Links to the book and the PDF are in the description below the video. The book contains a complete conditional sentence review to help improve your score on the speaking test. There are 12 speaking practice tests with 5 sample responses. You'll also get idiom preparation for the listening test and 6 listening practice test sections. Here is the cover of the book. The links are in the description below the video. Now let's go to the practice test questions. Here is question 1. Form a sentence in the zero conditional structure using the following words. Please press pause to answer. Let's go to the answer to question 1. The correct sentence is when you heat water, it boils at 100 degrees. This sentence is in the zero conditional structure, so you need to use the present simple in both parts of the sentence. Here the present simple is heat and boils. We need to use the zero conditional because the sentence is describing a fact or generalization. Let's go to question 2. Form a sentence in the first conditional using the following words. Now please pause to answer. Now let's go to the answer to question 2. The correct sentence is, You will pass the exam if you study for it. This sentence is in the first conditional, so you need to use the future tense, with will, in one part of the sentence, and the present simple in the other part. Here the future tense is will pass, and the present simple is study. The first conditional is needed because we are talking about an action in the future that is likely to happen. Now let's go to question 3. Form a sentence in the second conditional using the following words. Now please pause to answer. Let's look at the answer to question 3. The correct sentence is, He would be so lonely if his young wife died. This sentence is in the second conditional, so you need to use the would plus base form structure in one part of the sentence and the past simple in the other part. The would plus base form is would be, and the past simple is died. We need to use the second conditional because we are describing an imaginary or hypothetical event in the present or future. Now let's go to question 4. Form a sentence in the third conditional using the following words. Please pause to answer. Now let's go to the answer to question 4. The correct sentence is, If she had worked harder, 
she would have gotten the promotion. This sentence is in the third conditional, so you need to use the past perfect in one part of the sentence, and would plus have plus the past participle in the other part. Here, the past perfect is had worked, and would plus have plus the past participle is would have gotten. The third conditional is needed because we are talking retrospectively about events in the past. Now let's go to question 5. Form a sentence in the third conditional using the following words. Please pause to answer. Now let's look at the answer to question 5. The correct sentence is, If the government had been careful, the country would not have faced such difficulties. Again, the third conditional is needed because we are talking retrospectively about events in the past and how they could have happened differently. The sentence is in the third conditional so you need to use the past perfect in one part of the sentence and would plus have plus the past participle in the other part. Here the past perfect is had been, and would plus have plus the past participle is would not have faced. You'll see now questions for all five parts of the MET speaking test. The MET speaking test has five parts. In task one, you will describe a picture. You need to speak for 60 seconds. Now view the tips for the task on the next screen. Then view the task and respond fully within the time limit. Then view the sample response. Here are the tips for task one. In task one, you will be asked to describe a picture. Be sure to answer the following questions in your response. Where are they? Who are they? What are they doing? Here is the MET Michigan English Test Speaking Practice Exam Task 1. Please describe the picture. You have 60 seconds. Now let's look at the sample response. In this video, we will provide you with the first few sentences of each sample response. Our study guide shows you complete example responses to the speaking practice test and explains why each response is high level. Now look at the first part of a sample response on the next screen. Here is the sample response to task one. Please note that for all of the sample responses, you should pay attention to the highlighted phrases. You should try to use phrases like this on the exam to raise your speaking test score. The situation illustrated here is a business meeting. The most noticeable aspect is that the man standing appears to be the manager. He's got a piece of paper in his hand, which might be the agenda for the meeting, and... Now let's go to the MET Michigan English Test Speaking Practice Exam, Task 2. In Task 2, you will talk about a familiar topic that is related to the picture. 
you need to speak for 60 seconds. Now view the tips for the task on the next screen. Then view the task and respond fully within the time limit. Then view the response. Let's look at the tips for task 2. In task 2, you'll be asked to talk about a situation or problem that you faced. Be sure to answer the following questions. Who was there? What happened? When did it happen? Where were you? How did you react? Here is the MET Speaking Practice Exam Task 2 question. Tell me something about a job you have had. You have 60 seconds to respond. Now let's look at the sample response to task 2. Last summer, I had a job as a cashier in a supermarket in my hometown. My shift was from 6 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon, so getting used to waking up early was my first challenge. Probably the most difficult thing about the job, though, was learning all of the rules and policies related to the position. Then... Let's have a look at the MET Michigan English Test Speaking Practice Exam Task 3. In Task 3, you will need to give an opinion about a topic that is related to the picture. You need to speak for 60 seconds. Now view the tips for the task on the next screen. Then view the task and respond fully within the time limit. Then view the response. Here are the tips for Task 3. In Task 3, you'll need to give your opinion about something. Be sure to answer the following questions in your response. What is your preference? Why do you like it? Why do you prefer it over other options? Let's go to the MET Michigan English Test Speaking Practice Exam Task 3. Here is task three. You have 60 seconds to respond. Let's go to the sample response for task 3. Some people may disagree with me, but I would really like the challenge of working for myself. I've always thought that I'd love to have my own business creating and selling customized jewelry. I believe that I'd enjoy it because I'm very motivated and self-sufficient, so... Let's move on now to the Michigan English Test Speaking Practice Exam. Task 4. 
In task four, you need to speak about a topic for 90 seconds without prompting from the examiner. The task involves giving someone advice about something or describing the advantages and disadvantages of something. The topic for this task is not related to the picture. View the tips on the next screen. Then have a look at the task and respond. Then view the sample response. Here are the tips for task 4. In task 4, you'll be asked about the advantages and disadvantages of a hypothetical situation. Be sure to answer the following questions in your response. What are the advantages? What are the disadvantages? What advice do you give? You should try to use conditional sentence structures in your response. Here is the MET Michigan English Test Speaking Practice Exam Task 4. Please read the question and then respond. You have 90 seconds. Now let's have a look at the sample response to task 4. My friend is quite right to consider all of the pros and cons before making an important decision like this one. Cars are extremely expensive to buy, even used ones, and a person also has to consider the running and maintenance costs. Presumably, my friend would save money if she bought an older car, but... Now let's have a look at the MET test speaking practice exam, task 5. In task 5, you need to speak persuasively about a topic for 90 seconds. This will usually involve a controversial situation with various ideas that people have on how to solve the problem. Now view the tips on the next screen. Then view the task and respond. Then view the response. Remember to try to use conditional sentences in your response. Here are the tips for task 5. In task 5, you will be asked to speculate about a situation and persuade someone to accept your point of view. Be sure to answer the following questions in your response. What are the possible outcomes of the proposed plan? Why might others disagree with the proposed plan? What is your plan? Why is your plan better than the proposed one? Now let's have a look at the MET test speaking practice exam, task 5. Please read the following prompt. You now have 90 seconds to respond.
Let's have a look at the sample response to task 5. I understand that the town has been having issues with vandalism in the park after dark. I am aware that you're undecided about the situation, but after considering all of the arguments, I would advise against making the curfew law. To be perfectly frank, curfews are usually ineffective, because if people really want to go out, they will generally do so and risk the consequences. So, we hope you have enjoyed this MET Michigan English Test speaking practice exam. Here is the cover of the book again. Search on Amazon for Michigan English Test Listening and Speaking Study Guide by MET Test Success Associates. You may also be interested in our other great MET test book. You can get the book on Amazon or as a PDF download. The title is MET Test Grammar, Reading, and Writing Practice Test by MET Test Success Associates. Please see the links in the description below the video. Please also view our Michigan English Test, MET Test, practice test videos in reading, grammar, essay writing, and listening. Good luck with your exam! That is the end of the MET Michigan English Test Speaking Practice Exam questions. Thanks so much for joining us, and please subscribe to our channel for more great exam practice videos.